personal tour guide through Junsel's body and the wonderful world of cells. A cell? What's that? Well, that's a good question. Cells look something like this. Animal cells are usually circular like this. The nucleus contains the DNA and is the control center of the cell. The Golgi complex processes and transports proteins and other materials in and out of the cell. Smoothie R makes lipids and packages proteins for the Golgi complex. Rough ER makes and exports protein. The mitochondria break down food molecules to make ATP. They are the powerhouse of the cell. Those little dots all over the cell are called ribosomes. They make proteins. Lysosomes digest food particles, waste, cell parts, and foreign invaders. Vacuoles store water and other materials. And a cell membrane, which is around the cell, is a protective barrier that encloses the cell. Nucleolus, which is in the center of the nucleus, makes the ribosomes, and the nucleolus contains the DNA, which is the genetic material of the cell. Whoa, cells are amazing. Yeah, they are. What else is there to know about cells? Well, pretty much everything in the world around us is made up of cells. Plants, animals, fungi, they're all made up of cells. Hey, that means I'm made out of cells. Yeah, you are. And uh, cells, when there's a group of them together, it makes up a tissue. A group of tissues is an organ. I have organs? Yeah, like your heart, lungs, liver, oh. stuff like that. A group of organs is an organ system. And then you and Junsaw are made up of an organ system that equals an organism. That's awesome. They are pretty interesting. Can you tell me more about an organ system? Sure, I'll tell you about the circulatory system, one of the 11 organ systems found in your body. The circulatory system, made up of the heart, arteries, capillaries, and veins is the pumping mechanism that transports blood throughout the body. 
In the heart, the left ventricle contracts, pushing red blood cells into the aorta, the body's largest artery. From here, blood moves through a series of increasingly smaller arteries until it reaches a capillary, the junction between arteries and veins. Here, oxygen molecules detach from the red blood cells and slip across the capillary walls into body tissue. Now that the blood cells are deoxygenated, blood begins its return to the heart. It passes through the larger veins to eventually reach the right atrium. It enters the right ventricle, which pumps it through the pulmonary arteries and into the lungs to pick up oxygen. Now that the red blood cells are oxygenated, blood re-enters the left atrium and moves into the left ventricle, and the blood's journey begins again. Wow, I didn't know all that went on inside of our bodies. Yeah, our bodies are pretty amazing. Well, I gotta go now. What's happening? It's like an earthquake! Ah! <laughs> what happened? Whoa!